What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again for episode 3 of season 3 Rotner Fresh Tournament, the tournament for the ages. That is right guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again. First of all, thank you guys so much for watching the first two episodes of this season 3 tournament. And we saw in those episodes, in the first match, we saw Cedric Purcell go up against Jared Buckendall. And then after that was John from The Real Talk going up against Austin Burt. And in the first match, we saw the challenger come out on top. Jared Buckendall beat Cedric Purcell via TKO with 18 points. He was the first person to move on in the tournament. And then in the second match, another challenger won. Austin Burke won via knockout, 17 points. So Jared and Austin have already moved on to the second round in the tournament. Now the question is, guys... Will another challenger come out on top, or will our first returner come out on top? We're going to find that out right now with our next two competitors. Let's introduce them. Our first competitor is our returning competitor, and it's been a while since we've seen him. Back in episode 3 of season 1, he only put up 4 points, but hey, don't count this man out. He knows his movies, he loves film, comic book movies, anything nerdy you could think of. Greatest baby faces in the community, everyone loves this guy. That is Durbin from Durbania. Durbin, welcome back to the show. I'm super excited to be back. Yeah, I only got four points last time, but you know what? Then I didn't study at all whatsoever. The difference now is I didn't study again either. But I'm ready to go and I'm ready to just yeah! I can't wait. Let's do this. Our challenger, our new competitor, entering the Rotten or Fresh Arena. This guy is part of the network group, or Flicks with the Dicks. Great show. Go check it out. He is one of the biggest personalities on that show, and he's very funny, very entertaining, and I'm interested to see how he does. That is Jerome Latimer. Jerome, welcome to the show. Funny that he mentions that... He that the the returner can be on top because in bed I'm a bottom put it to you that way ladies and gentlemen thank you for letting me return or not return make my debut on rotten or fresh and of course in this matchup I'm not the baby face because you could say I'm a polarizing figure because some love me some hate me and some would love to hate fuck me but that's a different story for another time and yes sir I got my notepad ready, I got my pen ready, and all that bullshit, yes, yada, yada, yada. But now, this is about the number statistics. And just to make it a little a summary about me, yes, my name is Jerome Latimer, I am from the show Flix with the Dicks, and who knows, maybe the old two bros might be on there. Wow, the winner of this is moving on in the tournament. The loser is unfortunately eliminated. Without wasting any time, guys, let's get to the match. Let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one, the free-for-all round, works as follows. Gentlemen, you're going to get eight questions in round one, 11 categories, three categories aren't in, just eight questions in round one. You'll have 20 seconds to try to guess what the Rotten Tomato score is for that specific movie. And gentlemen, if you get a perfect score in round one, you get two points. If you don't, Whoever's the closest to the score without going over gets one point. And gentlemen, please write all of your answers down in round one on your piece of paper or whiteboard. And then once I call your name, please show your answer and say it to the camera in front of you. All right, gentlemen, your first question in round one comes in the category of horror movies. Okay. Horror is your category. And your movie is The Howlin'. It came out in 1981. Directed by Joe Dante, starring D. Wallace and Dennis Dugan. Hmm. Oh, God! You have to bring up his name. <laughs> I'm just reading what it says on the <laughs> on the computer. Oh my God! Dennis Douchebag, more like it. I hate that guy. He's <laughs> Satan. <laughs> oh, I forgot to Five, tell you, I'm the biggest. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, and stop. All right, we're starting with the returner, Durbin. What do you got, man? I guessed 62%, and I drew a tomato underneath it, just in case that gives me anything extra for artwork. 62%. Well, uh, you won't get an extra on the artwork, but that's fine. Oh, man. Uh, Jerome, what do you have? I have it right here, good sir. 65%. 65. Ooh. 
Wow. One dollar, Super Bob. close, gentlemen. Super close. You guys were really close to the score. But Jerome, you were the closest, man, is 68%. 68, so that's one point for Jerome Latimer. Good job, Jerome. You have no idea how excited I am just to be in the neighborhood. That's awesome. <laughs> we all love to be in the neighborhood. All right, guys, your next category is new releases. Very popular category. No one and else my name. your movie is Deadpool 2, directed oh. by David Leach, starring Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin. Yes, I love this movie. Really funny, really enjoyable. And Ryan Reynolds has baby feet in this film. It was pretty funny, but I like the first one better. Like, I like the second one just fine, but the first one was... Oh, absolutely. Maybe it was the, uh, yeah, the, it was the surprise factor. Yeah. Yeah, the first movie's a masterpiece. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Jerome, what do you got? 83%. Wow. Uh, Durbin, what do you have? I lowballed it. 71%. 71. Yes. Whoa, wow. Gentlemen, we're, we already got a perfect score going on here, and it's Jerome. Jerome, you got the score, man. It was 83%. <laughs> 83. So two points to Jerome. Wow. Good job. Where the hell did my affinity gauntlet go? Probably Lucas used it to do whatever we want. <laughs> All right, guys, your third question comes in the category of comedy. Comedy. Okay. And your movie is Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Came out in 1993 oh, and 94. yes. It's directed by Tom Shadick, starring Jim Carrey and Courtney Cox. Oh, man. Have you guys seen this movie? What did you think I of it? Okay, that's a movie where critics hate it, but later on, people start to love it. Uh, I love the original Peck Detective. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I, actually, I like both of them. I I don't know why. It, I was young when I saw them both, and they were just hysterical. I wanted to be Jim Carrey when I grew up. I don't know. Four, anymore. three, two, okay. one, stop. All right, Durbin, what do you have? Well, I took a shot in the dark. 83%. All right, Jerome, what do you have? It's like I said before, back then, critics hated it. And I remember Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel both had it on their worst of the year list. 40%. 40, wow. Mm -hmm. All right, wow. So, completely different probably. scores here, but someone was really close to the score, and it's Jerome once again. You got the lucky guesses, man. 46%, <laughs> you are correct. Critics didn't like it that much, so one point no, to Jerome. No, they hated it. <laughs> yeah, it proves it. All right. All right, guys, your next category is animated. Animated. Oh, love it. And your movie is the best animated future winner of 2011, Rango. Directed by Gore Verbinski, starring Johnny Depp. Oh, by the way, Kung Fu Panda 2 is better. Rango. Rango. Was that that lizard one, the lizard walking around in the desert? What was that one? Yeah, it's the lizard one. Oh, man. I was so bored. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I told you Kung Fu Panda 2 was better. Watch, Gary. Yeah, that Five, one was better. I love four, Kung Fu Panda 2. Three, two, one, stop. All right, Jerome, what do you have? I have, going by 5, 10, 15s, I'll give 85%. Uh, whoops, right there. 85. <laughs> All right, Durbin. Mm -hmm. this. All right, Durbin. What do you oh, have? Man, see, I keep going with my own personal feelings instead of thinking what the critics are thinking. So I did fifty-four percent. I got to get into the mind of a critic. If I hated yeah, it, man. they probably yeah. loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Durbin, you're right, man. You got to think what the critics think because Jerome's got it again. He was eighty-seven. You were very close, Jerome. So that's another they, point to Jerome. It's like, unlike oh. with Deadpool, I knew what it was. The other ones, I'm just going by 5, 10, 15, so... <laughs> All right, guys, your next category is romantic comedies, rom-coms. Oh, shit. All right, get rid yeah, of your I'm man cards now. Your movie is Made in Manhattan. Came out in 1975. Oh, yeah. Directed by oh, Wayne yeah. Wang, starring Ray Fiennes so let me and Jennifer think. Lopez. I did not like that movie, so... 
and uh, see if you get this I, I, I don't. Oh, God. Um, I don't. I'm just gonna take a... I'm just gonna take a guess. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Jerome, what do you have? I took a wild guess and said 30%. All right, Durbin. Wow. Okay, I, I said seventy percent because I was thinking how much if I didn't like it, maybe the critics really loved it. So that's where I'm at. Wow. Wow. Again, two completely different scores here. We're <laughs> we're in trouble here because Jerome, you will keep coming on fire, man. Thirty nine percent. You get the point. So yes, one Sweet. point to Jerome. Jennifer Lopez Durbin, is like a walking. Aphrodite. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Durbin, maybe you might be happy with this next category. It's comic book movies. That, comic book there there we go. Category. I'm home. I'm home. Your I'm movie. Home Let's do this. Your movie. I was in the movie. I snapped my finger. Is The Rocketeer. It came out in oh, 1991. Yeah. The guy directed by the Joe Johnston. Yep. Starring Bill Campbell and Jennifer Connelly. The Rocketeer. Hmm. Then he went on to do The First Avenger. Uh, yeah, Joe Johnston. Yep. And we got five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay. Durb Durbin, what do you have? I guess 65%. 65. And Jerome? Seventy percent. Oh, we, we were close this time. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very close answers, gentlemen. But wow, you both went over. In Durban, you went over by two. Sixty-three percent was the score. Oh. So I got a point? I got a point? No, you didn't. You went over. Oh. It was sixty-three. Oh, that's so right. No points have been rewarded to both of you. Oh, oh man. This is just about as bad as taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerome, I love you, man. All right, guys, the seventh question comes in the category of sci-fi. And your movie is After Earth. Directed by oh, M. Night Shyamalan oh. Ding Dong. And starring, no, no, his name... Oh, go ahead. Well, uh, starring Will Smith and Jaden Smith. M. Night oh, Shyamalan Ding Dong Dickhead, bitch. That's why I call him. I can't stand that guy! <laughs> well, he has glass. Well, I love he has glass Split. coming out like next year. Maybe back. he'll redeem himself for you. Oh my God, this one's hard because I'm never. Oh God, I don't but know. Hey, hey, he's got glass coming out next year. I'm looking forward yeah, to glass it. Five, I can't wait for four, glass. Three, two, one, stop. Okay. All right, Jerome, what do you got? I'm just. I know it. Critics hate it, but I'm just taking a shot of the dog. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five. All right, Durbin, what do you got? See, I know everybody universally hated it, which is why I think critics probably put it a little higher, and I went 40%. 40, wow. Still under half. That's still rotten. You know, nobody liked it. Pretty rotten, but uh, yeah, they really hated this movie because you both went over. It was 11. <laughs> 11 percent. <laughs> wow. So no Jerome, points we were both to either optimistic of you guys. about this it movie. It was 11? Really? 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really did not like it. All right, guys, your final question in round one is our special category, The Rock. Dwayne yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Can you smell? Can you smell Critics the Rock hate is? his okay. movies and fans All love them. All right, them. guys, Let's do this. your movie is Get Smart. Came out in 2008. Uh, mm -hmm. Directed sequel. by Peter Seagal. Starring Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway. I forgot he was even in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was in it. <laughs> He's not the star in it, but he is in it, so it counts. Anne Hathaway. That's all I gotta say. Five, four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one, and stop. Durbin. Yep. Durbin, what do you have? I went ahead and guessed 55%. It can't really be that high, but it also couldn't be that low, so I just went right in the middle. Alright, and Jerome? I know, this is like a, uh, an adaptation, I said sequel, I was thinking of the other one. Uh, I know it was mixed, that's why I went with 50. 50? 
like I said, it was mixed reactions. That's why I just went with 50. All right. And uh, I think it paid off for you, Jerome. And it's correct. It is 50. So two points <laughs> to Jerome oh! Latimer. Wow. Oh, twist the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I did not expect it to go in this direction. But that is it I for didn't round either. one, guys. Round two, the solo round, works as follows. Each of you guys are going to get the chance to pick two categories of your choice in round two. Then you're going to get three questions. Keep in mind, guys, that multiple choice is available in round two. If you don't choose multiple choice and you get your question right, you get two points. But if you need multiple choice and you get your question right, the point diminishes to one point. Get your question wrong, however, gentlemen, then your fellow opponent has the chance to steal. And the same point value applies to the stealer. Instead of 20 seconds, you're only going to have 15 seconds now to answer each question in round two. Keep in mind, gentlemen, after you choose a category in round two, that category is out into the next round. You cannot pick it again. So, Durbin, since you are in last right now and have no points, you get to pick your first category of choice. So, Durbin, what's your first category going to be? Oh, you know it's going to be comic books. All right, I Let's knew. Let's do that. this. All right, comic book <laughs> movies. Comic book movies for Durbin. All right, Durbin, here's your first question in comic book movies. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Fant Four Stick 2015? Fant Four Stick. Oh man! <laughs> wow, that cannot be high. But give me multiple choice because I'm doing so well. I mean, I don't want to get too many points. Let's see of if multiple right choice helps <laughs> helps you. All right, Durbin, is it 15 percent? Nine percent, three percent, or seven percent? Oh gosh, let's go with uh, fifteen percent. That is incorrect, Jerome. What? One point steal. I mean, oh man, what? Okay, I know it's not higher than ten. It's either nine or seven. I think it's nine. That is correct. One point steal wow. for Jerome. One point that steal. is a hated movie. Unreal. You should have gone lower. All right, Durbin, <laughs> your next question. I think, I think what is the choice. Rotten Tomato score for Captain America the First Avenger? Oh, we were just talking oh, about this gosh. movie. Gosh. Okay, get. All right, let me do the multiple choice. Let's do it. Let's knock this out. Let's go. All right, Durbin, <laughs> is it 82%, 84%, 77%, or 79%? And this is Civil War? No, this is First Avenger. Okay, so... Okay, say that one more time. One more time. What were the multiple choice? 82, 84, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 77, 79. We're going to go with Five, 77. Four, 77 is incorrect. Jerome, yeah! one point steal. I, I know this one. I, it was going to be either... I, I knew it was around 80. 79. That is correct. One point steal for Jerome. <laughs> Wow, wow. All right, Durbin. I wonder why I flunk laying with jars, because I'm not good with letters. <laughs> All right, Dur <laughs> Durbin, your final question in comic book movies. Let's, let's do which, it. Which film in the X-Men franchise has the second highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? The second highest score. Let's go second highest score. Let's go with, um, let's go with first class. That is incorrect. Jerome, two point steal. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh. I think. Okay, Days of Future Past, I think, is number one. I mean, let's go with uh, X2 X Men United. X2 X Men United is also incorrect. It's Days of Future Past. 89%. Oh, 89. Was that Logan. was my first guess. I just. Logan. Oh, shit! Logan, oh, man. 93. Yeah. Oh, damn it! I never... Oh. All right. Wow. Wow. All right, what Jerome. A, what a lava dumps. Jerome Latimer, what's your first category going to be? Animation. Animated. All right. Animated. Easily. All right. All right, Jerome. Here's your first question in animated. Mm -hmm. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Hotel Transylvania? The first one. Oh, uh, give me multiple choice, because I don't know what it is by heart, but I know what it is around. All right. Is it 52%, 44%, 61%, or 46%? Oh, 
course you had to make it between the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 44? Wow, that is correct. Ooh, that is correct. One point. All right, Jerome, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Bambi, 1942? Bambi? Oh, my God. <laughs> give me, give me, give me multiple choice again, because I don't know what it is by heart. All right, multiple choice. Is it 98%, 95%, 90%, or 87%? Let's go with... Five, four, 87. Three. It's going to be 87 or 90. 87. Uh, 87 is incorrect. Durbin, one point steal. Well, then I'll go with 90. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct, Durbin. Finally on the board, one point steal. I have a point! It's not a shutdown! <laughs> oh, let's have a party. Yes! All right. <laughs> uh, Jerome, final question in animated. What is the mm -hmm. Rotten Tomato score for Chicken Little 2005? Oh, that piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> not chicken not chicken run, mind you. <laughs> Multiple choice again. Alright, is it 26%, 20%, 37%, or 33%? 37. That is correct. <laughs> Even though he said it was shitty, that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> All right, Durbin. Shit more like it. Durbin, what's your final category going to be? Ah, uh, let me look at these categories. Let's go with. Can I do science fiction? Can that be? Can I do that? Yes, you can. Sci-fi for it. Durbin. All right. All right, Durbin. Here's your first question in sci-fi. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Star Trek Nemesis 2002? Oh, man. Oh, let's multiple choice it. Let's multiple choice that. All right. Is it 54%, 68%, 38%, or 33%? Um, what were the first two? 54 and 68. Let's go with 54. That is incorrect. Jerome, one point steal. I know it was hated, so let's go 33. It was hated? Oh my oh, gosh! That, was, that brought a lump to Jerome, my throat that is at the end. Incorrect. Incorrect. It's 38%. Uh, 38. Okay. All right, uh, Durbin, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Arrival 2016? Oh gosh. Uh, okay, give me the multiple choice. Oh, I know All right. It's so 94%, <laughs> 82%, 77%, or 88%? 87. Uh, let's go 88. That is incorrect. Jerome, one point steal. 90 I should know this because the knee fell enough, that's all I'm going to say. 94. That's correct. One point steal, Jerome. All right, and Durbin, final question in sci-fi. Let's do this. What film in the Alien franchise has the third highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> The third highest score on the third <laughs> tomato. <laughs> the third, the third highest. Cody, I blame you for writing that question. Do you mean like the third highest in the I Alien actually, franchise or third highest on Rotten Tomatoes? On Rotten Tomatoes. All right, this let's is a show on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> right, right. I, okay, let's go with Aliens. Aliens is incorrect, Durbin. Uh, Jerome. But that's the best I, one! Two, that's the best one. Two points steal, Jerome. Two points steal. Do you need the question repeated? Okay, no, all of them all the third highest. The third uh, highest, yeah. Uh, prom I don't I don't know if this counts or not. Prometheus. That counts. Jerome, that is correct. Two yes! points steal. <laughs> Game over, man! Game over! Game over, man! That's a part of the franchise, man, yeah. I was about to Durbin, say... Jerome, it, Durbin, Aliens is 98. Aliens is like <laughs> one of the, the greatest highest. movies ever. It's the highest. Oh. Is All it right. really? It's yeah. not Durbin the first two. All right. Uh, Jerome, Jerome, what's your final category, man? Um, Let me look uh, here real quick. I was about to say Alien Coven, but I thought Prometheus, and it kind of counts. Uh, new releases. New releases. All right. New releases. There we go. I had to look that up. All right. All right, Jerome, here's your first question in new releases. What is the Rotten Tomato score 
for super troopers too. I hate that movie. <laughs> I hate oh, I hate that movie it. so much. <laughs> hate it. <laughs> oh my god. Five, uh, four, give me multiple choice. Two. I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, all right, it's in the area. Multiple Forty. Choice. All right, is it forty-four percent, thirty-six percent, twenty-five percent? Or 32%? 32. I know it's between 30 and 35. That's why I didn't know by heart. So, yeah, 32. That is correct. One point. Okay. All right. God, I hate that movie. Jerome. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I forgot I even saw it. All right, Jerome, next question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for 8th grade? Oh. Oh, God. That's like... Oh, crap. It could be one or two things. I'm going to... Five, 98. 98. Four, is it 98? Eight. It is 98. That is correct, Jerome. Two points. Two points. Okay. All right, and your final question, Jerome. What is the Rotten Tomato score for upgrade? 87. Wow, that is correct. Two more points. <laughs> oh, 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 man. All right, so at the end of round two... Jerome Latimer has 20 points, and Durbin only has one point. Round three, round three. There was only 12 points that these competitors could get in round three. So, since Jerome is up 20 to 1, there is, honestly, there's no way for uh, Durbin to come back. So, it is a TKO, another TKO, ladies and gentlemen. Jerome Latimer, congrats to you, man. You have won this episode. You are moving on in the tournament. And Durbin, unfortunately, you have been eliminated. I'm so sorry, man. Jerome, before we get to you, man, let's go to Durbin. Durbin, it's great to have you back, man. But uh seemed really hard for you today. But Durbin, give us your final overall thoughts. Well, for whatever whatever reason it is, it's awesome just to be on your show, man. So it's awesome to be back on your channel and to do this. And, and honestly... To be able to have made this much history that we can't even go on to a third round, that Jerome has points that high and I have points that low, I mean, that's an accomplishment in of itself. So I'd like to thank my mom and, and my dad. They raised me well, but they never installed the love of numbers or math in me. I, I'd like to thank my wife who remains with me even in moments like this. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank the Academy for, you know, yeah. <laughs> Well, you can find me on Twitter at World of Durbania or just search Durbania on YouTube. I am the one and only channel with that name, unless there's something about butterflies, because I just learned that Durbania is a genus of butterfly. Anyway, you can go over there, check out my channel. I do movie reviews. I do these things called theological analyses, where I dig really deep into movies, ranking videos, and all that really fun stuff. So come over, check it out. I'd love to have you. All right. You got to thank the Academy. <laughs> all right. And uh, Jerome, wow. Man, you came in here flaming hot, Jerome. Wow, you definitely studied good, sir. But Jerome, give us your final overall thoughts. Uh, okay. I was not expecting this. I didn't know what to expect. All I knew is that it had to do with numbers and films. And you put those two together... And then you, you have that supernova. Thank you so much to the Oturo brothers. And thank you to Mr. Durbin for being a contestant here. Until the next episode. This is how I do my finals, by the way. Until the next episode, stay tuned. And once again, Mother F. Dennis Douchebag. I'm still waiting for Dad a White to set up the cage match so I can beat the shit out of him so he'll never make a movie again. Most of my stuff is on Facebook where you can see a lot of my gameplays and some of my personal material. But I am on YouTube. Look up Mr. Garrison Film Reviews every Sunday night Every Sunday night when we do flicks with the decks. And also channels. I am on the NG2C Network, APizzle90, and LC Muscles 28 along with some few collaborations with other people that I know as well. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Toole. Jerome, we'll be seeing you in November, good sir. In round two, you are moving on in the tournament along with Jared Buckendall and Austin Burke. Let us know. Let us know down below in the comment section what you thought of this part of the episode. Who did you have winning this episode, Durbin or Jerome? Go check out Durbin and Jerome. They are awesome guys over there. And now, the next match, guys, don't go anywhere because our next match is going to be Sammy from Samuel One World Reviews going up against Joseph Lansdell from Joseph's Reviews, and that is hosted by Cody. Cody, take it away.
Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Season 3 of Rotten or Fresh, Episode 4. That is right, guys. We're just keeping this train on rolling, and we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. You guys just watched Episode 3. What a very fun match that was, for sure. But the fun doesn't stop. We're here in Episode 4 right now. Two more great competitors, of course, a challenger and a returning player. Starting with our returning player. That's right, a very, very huge fan of the show. Put up 34 points in his Rottner Fresh career. However, he had a great first debut performance, but his redemption episode was a very mixed performance. I'm sure he's looking forward to redeem himself here in this Season 3 tournament, and we're very excited to have him back. That is Sammy One World Review. Sammy, welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. I'm happy back on Rotten or Fresh. It was like I didn't win my first round. It sucks I didn't make it to the last, but I'm back around fresh. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to play and go to Joseph. Let's introduce our challenger, a very, very good movie reviewer, a huge fan of the show, an underdog, a new guy. I don't know what to expect from him. We're just going to have to wait and see. That is Mr. Joseph Lansdale. Joseph, welcome to the show. Hello, guys. How's it going? Uh, first time on the show. And yeah, I've been watching the whole show since it first came out. And let's do it. Only one can move on in the tournament, and only one is going to be eliminated. Who's it going to be? Let's find out by playing Rotten or fresh. Round one, the free-for-all round. It works as follows. Instead of ten questions like we normally do, we're gonna give you eight questions in this round, gentlemen. I'm gonna give you a movie, and it is your goal to guess the Rotten Tomato score of that film perfectly. If you're able to do that, we'll give you two points. However, if none of you are, the person who is closest to the score without going over will get one point. I'll give you guys 20 seconds to come up with an answer for this round, and once time is up, I'll call each of you into Individually. When I do that, please show and say your answer to the camera in front of you at the same time. Question one in round one, gentlemen, comes in the category of our special category for this episode, Michelle Williams movies. Michelle Williams. Michelle Williams. Michelle Williams. Your category, I'm sorry, you know your category. Your movie is Oz, The Great and Powerful, 1981, directed by Sam Raimi. Starring James Franco and Michelle Williams. I'm very excited we're doing Michelle Williams' category. I love her movies. She's a great actress, for sure. She, she is. Let's see how much these guys study. You guys have five. Four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with the returner. Sammy, what do you have? I got 49. All right. And Joseph. Uh, quite high, uh, 72%. Alright, so we have somewhat different scores here to start off for our first question, but we do have someone that was closer to the score. Sammy, you're going to start off on the board, man. It was 59%. 59, 59. Okay. So that is one point to Sammy. All right, boys, we move on to our second question, and that comes in the category of Westerns. Westerns. Your film is King of Texas, 2002, directed by Uli Edel and starring Patrick Stewart. Shit, never heard this movie. Yeah, I haven't either, and uh, I can't really say much about it, so uh, good luck to both of you. <laughs> King of Texas. What is the score? Let's find out in five, four, three, two, one. One and stop. Joseph, what do you have? I have 66%. All right, and Sammy? I've guessed 64. All right, so very close scores between the two guys. But I'm sorry, both of you went over the actual score. It is a smack dab in the middle 50%. 50%. Okay. <laughs> so unfortunately, no points for that one. Sorry, uh -huh. guys. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see if you can redeem yourselves with your next category in the world of horror movies. Horror. horror. Uh, this movie is, uh, I don't know, I think it's a pretty popular one. It's The Shining. Uh, the Shining. 1980's The Shining, directed by Stanley Kubrick, starring Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall. Uh, this is a uh, masterpiece, for sure, definitely. Indeed. Oh, definitely. Uh, yep. So, uh, 
What do critics think about this movie, though? What is the score of The Shining? Let's see if these guys have an idea. Right, wrong. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Sammy, what do you have? 97. And Joseph? 87%. All right. Their scores are separated by 10. So that means someone has to have the score right. Well, unfortunately, you both went over again. What? what? I know, I know. Toma Rotten Tomatoes is crazy. Uh, in fact, Joseph, you got Jay Vader, man. It's 86%. Oh, oh my God. 86%. So I'm so sorry, guys, man. But unfortunately, that's another no points for either one of you. And, uh, Yes, enjoy yeah, the yeah. J-Vaders, man. One guy enjoy there the <laughs> Question four. Let's see here. You guys both review movies, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. So, uh, so uh, how about some new releases? Let's new do releases. that. New releases. New releases, okay. okay? Uh, your film in new releases, gentlemen, is Sicario, Day of the Soldado. 2018. Directed by Stefano Salima, starring Benicio Del Toro and Josh Brolin. You know, I haven't seen any of these movies, but I gotta see them. I gotta see the Sicario movies. I know. Call me. Yeah, just, yeah, just add it to a, just add it to my list of movies I need to see. Yeah, but both great movies. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that. I've heard that for sure. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Joseph, what do you have? I have sixty-four percent. All right, and Sammy. I got sixty-three percent. Ooh. All right, two very, very close scores, and this is why I love this show. Someone got the exact score, and someone got Jay Vader, and uh, two times for Mr. Joseph, I'm sorry. It's 63%, which means, Sammy, you got the exact score, man. Nice job, nice job, and I'm sorry, Joseph. But that's two points for Sammy. Two points for Sammy. Okay. Uh, so close, so close, but not there. All right, guys. Our next category is animated movies. Animated. Animated. Okay. Animated movies. Your film is My Neighbor Totoro, 1988. Directed by Hayao Miyazaki, starring... I'm not even going to try and pronounce their names. I'm just not going to try. But uh, it's another Studio Ghibli film. We're keeping that train rolling. They have such great films, and we need to show them more love, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen pretty great. Yeah. My Neighbor Totoro, what is the score? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Back to Sammy, what do you have? I got 96. Alright, and Joseph? 77%. All right, one high, one in the middle somewhere. But Joseph, you were the closest to the score, oh. man. Very, very close. Uh, Sammy, it's 94%. I finally got some. 94. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> that puts Joseph on the board with one point. All right, our next category uh, is question six in the world of sports movies. Sports. And your movie... Is Herbie Fully Loaded 2005? Directed by Angela Robinson, starring Lindsay Lohan and Michael Keaton's in this movie. Which I had no idea he was. But uh, yeah, I remember watching this movie when I was a kid. I just remember Lindsay Lohan being really attractive back then, but I can't say the same now. <coughs> and I don't mean that in an offensive way, it's just it is what it is. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Uh, Joseph, what do you have? I have 50, 52%. 52. And Sammy? I'm a little higher. 54. All right. Again, keeping it very close with their guesses. But this is the third time, guys, you both went over Seriously? the score. Third I know, I know. Wow. It is it is a forty one percent. It's a forty one percent. So you guys gave yeah, I know. You guys gave it a little bit more credit than it deserves, so unfortunately no points for that one either. Okay. Sorry guys. Alright. Your second to last category in round one is in the world of sci fi movies. Sci fi. Sci fi. Oh. 
Your film is Chappie, 2015, directed by Neil Blomkamp, starring Charlotte Copley and Hugh Jackman. Uh, disappointing movie. Yeah, I've heard that. I've definitely heard that. And uh, it's just a fun, cute little name for a movie, Chappie. Just say that ten times. What is the score for Chappie, though? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Joseph. What do you have, man? I have 38%. All right, and Sammy. He's right. 32. All right, Sammy sounded pretty confident on that answer. And uh, you should be confident, Sammy, because that is the exact score. 32%. Joseph, not too far off, man. Not too far off. But that is another two points to Sammy. Nice job. Nice job. All right, gentlemen, your final category in round one is in the world of comic book movies. Ah, comic book movies. <laughs> there we go, there we go. And uh, this should be one you guys are both familiar with. It's Black Panther. 2018, directed by Ryan Coogler, starring Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan. Man, what a damn good movie this was, man. I really enjoyed it. Man, it's it's so good. It's still one of the best of the year, for sure, for me, personally. All right, what is the score for Black Panther? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Sammy, what do you have? 95. All right, and Joseph. Ninety-seven percent. All right, both give this movie a lot of credit with a both very high scores, but Joseph, you nailed it right on the head, man. It's a ninety-seven percent. Nice job, Sammy. You were very close as well, but that is two points for Joseph. Nice way to end round one there, Joseph. Okay. Round two is the solo round, and it works as follows. Each of you are going to get a chance here to choose two categories of your choice. And with those two categories, you'll be asked three questions for each category. If you're able to guess the answer correctly without needing multiple choice, we'll give you two points. However, multiple choice is available, and if you opt to it and get your question right, we will give you one point. Answer incorrectly though, however, your opponent will get an opportunity to steal and the same point values apply to the stealer. Instead of 20 seconds, we're going to give you 15 seconds in this round. And keep in mind that when a category is chosen in this round, that category is out for the entire round. So keep that in mind when you're choosing categories. Alright Joseph, since you are behind at the moment, you get to choose yep. your first category first. What will it be, All sir? Right. Alright. Um comic book movies. I'm not surprised. He's going with comic book movies for his first category. Yeah, I'm and here is your first of three questions, Joseph, in that category. Okay. And keep in mind, this does include graphic novels. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Ghost World, 2001? Uh, multiple choice, please. Alright. Yep. Is it 95%? 92%, 83%, or 87%? Uh, 92. Now. That's one point. Nice job. That is correct. Oh, nice job. there we go. All right, your second question in comic book movies, Joseph. Yep. What is the okay. Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Punisher Warzone, 2008? Punisher Warzone. Uh... Multiple choice, please. All right. Is it 32%, 24%, 17%, or 28%? Um, 17%. 17 is incorrect. Sammy, a one-point steal opportunity. Right. Give me the choices, please. Sure. Is it 32, 24, 17, or 28? Twenty-four? Twenty-four is also incorrect. Guys, we were looking for twenty-eight. Twenty-eight percent. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Joseph, your final question. How okay. many films in the DCEU have below a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes? Three. 
And that is correct. Nice job, Joseph. Yes, yeah. BVS, Suicide Squad, and Justice League all have below a 50%. That's two points yep. for Joseph. Nice round, there. Awesome. Okay. Nice job. Nice nice round. Yep. All right, Sammy, mm -hmm. we head over to you. What's your first category? Last category is new releases. New releases for Sammy. All right, new okay. releases. All right. Here's your first question in new releases, Sammy. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film The First Purge? The First Purge... Um, what's what choice? Is it 24%, 46%, 35%, or 54%? Mm, 46. 46 is incorrect. Joseph, <gasps> chance to steal. Okay, the options again. Sure, 24, 46, 35, yeah. or 54? Um... Yeah. 35. 35 is also incorrect, guys. It's actually 54%. <clears throat> oh, 54%. Sammy, your second question in new releases. What is Rotten Tomatoes' score for the film Revenge? Revenge, um... Multiple choice? Is it 84%, 93%, 87%, or 90%? Um, 87? 87 is incorrect. Joseph, a chance to steal here. Okay, um, options again. Is it 84, 93, 87, or 90? 90%. Guys, that's also incorrect. We were looking for 93. 93, uh -huh. it's up there, uh -huh. it's up there. All right. All right, your final question in new releases, Sammy. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Leave No Trace? Multiple choice. Is it 100%, 99%, 94%, or 90%? I think I'm going to guess. 100? 100 is correct for one point. Yes. Nice job there. One point for Sammy. Okay. To end his new release category. Alrighty, Joseph, it is now time for you to choose your final category here. Okay. Let's do action and adventure. Alright, action and adventure. Keep in mind this is action movies and adventure movies, not just action adventure. Alright, here is your first question in action adventure, uh, Joseph. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971? Multiple choice. An adventure movie. Multiple choice. All right. Is it eighty-eight percent, eighty-two percent, ninety-four percent, or ninety-one percent? Ninety-one. That's a one-point correct answer for Joseph. Nice job. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Okay. All right. Your second question, Joseph. Yeah. Which. Fast and Furious movie has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes. Fast and Furious 4. Um, I need a title. Uh, Fast and Furious. Is that the... Uh, the one released in uh, 2009. Yes, okay, thank you very much. That is correct for two points. That is correct. <laughs> Fast and Furious 2009, thank you for clarifying. Yep, it has a 29%. So that's two points right there for Joseph. Okay. Your final category, uh, sorry, your final question in Action Adventure. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Taken 3, 2015? Multiple choice. Is it 12%, 18%, 8%, or 14%? 12%. That is a point. Give it to him. One point for Joseph. That's a good round right there. Nice job. All right, Sammy, your final category in round two. <sighs> Michelle Williams movies. All right, Sammy's taking the special category. Michelle Williams to end round two. Sammy, here are your three questions. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. First question. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Manchester by the Sea, 2016? Mm, see, um, 95? 
That's two points for Sammy. Nice job. 95%. Good job. Second question. Which of Michelle's acted movies is her lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? I'm not acted movies. I'm choice. Is it Deception? A Hole in One? Perfume? Or The Baxter? I'm the guess. Deception? Deception is incorrect. Yes. Joseph, a one-point steal opportunity. Alright. What are the options again? Deception? A hole in one? Perfume? Or the Baxter? Perfume? One point steal for Joseph. That's big. Oh. One point steal. Perfume okay. with 11%. 11%. Okay. Alright, Sammy, your final question and Michelle, Michelle Williams. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Halloween H2O, 1998? Oh, I'm she was in that movie. <laughs> she was, yeah, we didn't know either. Well, then I'll take more toys then. Is it 66%, 77%, 52%, or 35%? Yeah, I remember, um, 52? That's a one-point correct answer. Nice yes. job, Sammy. There you go. Ah, yes. Good way there to end round two. And, gentlemen, that is going to do it for round two. Round three we like to call the listening round and here is how it works. I'm going to be asking you guys a question and this question can be about anything. It could be about an actor, an actress, a movie franchise, or even a director. The goal is just to write down as many films as you can related to the topic at hand. You will have 30 seconds to do that. And once time is up, I will be calling you individually. Once I call on you, please reveal your answers one by one so that I can check to see if they made the list or not. And each correct answer in this round is worth one point. Here is your question, gentlemen. Yep. List as many films as you can. Yep. 60% and above. Yep. 60% and above on Rotten Tomatoes. Featuring the actress... Zoe De Chanel. Zoe De Chanel. Uh oh, Zoe De Chanel. Yeah, this is a tough category. This is a tough one for sure. There's only 12 movies for the guys to come up with here. 60% and above on Rotten Tomatoes for Zoe De Chanel. A well known actress, I would say. But let's see if these guys can get any, cate any uh, answers here, as it is still a very close game. And anyone can take this one. Guys, a couple more seconds here. Kind of movies. Um, you guys movies. will have five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and stop. All right, we will start with Sammy since you are behind at the moment. Sammy, go one by one and tell us what you have written down. I only have two. Okay. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is correct. And 500 Days of Summer? 500 Days of Summer is also correct. Nice job there to Sammy, as that'll give you two points to tie the game with Joseph right now. But Joseph, it is your turn now to go. Joseph, please tell me your movies you have. Don't ask, but I unfortunately have got nothing. Don't ask. Oh. I've never... And Joseph comes up with nothing in this round. Well, that was big for Sammy. He just tied the game. But guys, let's quickly go over the 12 movies on the list just so you guys can hate us some more. Okay. All right? <laughs> Here are the 12 movies on the list. Almost Famous, 89%. That's not just in that movie. The Good Girl, 82%. Never heard of that movie. All the Real Girls, 72%. Never heard of that movie either. Manic, 67%. Never heard either. Elf. 84%. How do you forget Elf? How does anyone know the fucking Elf? Okay, Ryan, thank you. The, hitchhike, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, 60%. Just makes it, Sammy. Just makes it. Bridge to Terabithia, 85%. I've got you in that movie. Surf's Up, 79%. I've got you in that movie. The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford, 76%. Again, I've got you in that movie. 500 Days of Summer, 85%. Our Idiot Brother, 68%. And 
and the anim and the animated movie Trolls, seventy four percent. I forgot she was in that movie. <laughs> tie game, guys, eleven eleven apiece, which means it's a great time for that higher or lower round. Round four, it works as follows: each of you are going to choose three numbers of your choice, ranging from one to eleven. And of course, each of those numbers correspond to a different movie category, and also each question is worth a different point value. Your first number is a one point question. Your second number is a three point question, and your third and final number is the big five points. How this is going to work is I'm going to give you a category and I'm going to give you a movie. I'm also going to give you a percentage for that movie. It is your goal to tell me if that percentage I give you is higher or lower than the actual Rotten Tomato score for the film. Answer correctly and you get whatever point value the question is worth. We will have sudden death if we need to guys and this is big because we have a tie game right now. This can be anybody's game in a matter of seconds. Alright, so since it is a tie game, and Sammy, since you are the returning player, we're going to give you the option to choose your three cat numbers first, from 1 to 11. Um, 1 to 11... 1... 6... and 11. 1, 6, and 11 are the choices for Sammy. Joseph, what are your three numbers going to be? Two, four, eight. Two, four, and eight for Joseph. All right, he picked all even numbers, and we'll see if that pays off for him. But uh, we're going to start with Joseph uh, for your three numbers first, uh, and we're going to start with your one-point question here. So, Joseph, for your one-point question, you chose number two as your number, okay. and that corresponds yep. to the category of sci-fi movies. Right. Sci-fi, for one point, Joseph. Yep. Yep. Your film is Gattaca, 1997. Mm hmm 85%, Joseph, higher or lower? Lower. Joseph says lower. And he takes the lead with one point. Yes, it is lower. It is lower. It's an 82%. So that is one point there for Joseph. Yep. All right. So, Sammy, we're going to bounce it back to you now with your one point question. Okay. You chose number one for your one point question. Mm -hmm. And that comes in the category. Of sports movies. <laughs> sports movies. Sammy's had some some interesting run-ins with sports movies, but stay focused, man. You got this. All right. Sports movies. Your film is Radio. Came out in 2003. Radio. I know that eventually. 35%, Sammy. Higher or lower? 35%. Higher or lower? <sighs> higher? Sammy says higher. And will he tie the game with Joseph? He will. That is correct for one yes. point. Nice job. Nice job. We are yes. tied once again at 12 points. All right, Joseph. Yes. We bounce it to you now for your three-point question, Joseph. Three-point question? Yep. Joseph, you chose number four as your three-point question. And that comes in the category of comic book movies. Oh my god, wow. Comic book <laughs> movies for three points. Your film, Joseph, is Old Boy, 2005, a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Old Boy. Yeah. That's weird. I wanted to know, actually. I wanted to know, actually. 82%, Joseph, higher or lower? Higher. Joseph says higher for old boy. Joseph, that's incorrect. Uh. That's incorrect. It is actually lower, but not by much. It is an 80% for old boy. 80%. Uh. So unfortunately, no points there. So Joseph will bounce now to your five-point question here. We'll bounce to your five-point oh. question. Okay. This will put you up by five if you answer this correctly. Okay. So for your five-point question, Joseph, you chose number eight. Mm -hmm. 
And that comes in the category of action and adventure. Okay. For five points. Mm -hmm. Joseph, yep. your film is Casino Royale. 2006. Wow. The best James Bond movie. Best James Bond movie. Exactly. Interesting. Same here. All right. 95%, Joseph. Higher or lower? Lower. Joseph says lower. If he gets this right, it'll put him in the lead. Joseph takes the lead with five points. That is correct, and it was a Jay Vader's. It's a 94% okay. for Casino Royale. That's five big points for Joseph, which means the pressure is now on for Sammy as he has to hit at least his five-pointer to tie the game. But he can't hit his three as well and win the game if he hits both his three and five. Sammy, are you ready for your three-point question? I'm ready. All right, you chose number you chose number six as your three point question, Sammy. Mm -hmm. And that comes in the category of comedy. Okay. Comedy for three points, Sammy. Your film is going to be Napoleon Dynamite. Ooh. Two thousand four. Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Sixty eight percent, Sammy. Higher. Or lower? Lower. Sammy says lower. Sammy, that's incorrect. That is incorrect. It is actually higher. It's a 71 percent. Which means it's going to come down to this, Sammy. You need to hit your five-point question to tie the game to force a sudden death. Sammy, are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is, man. For your five-point question, you chose number 11. You chose number 11. That comes in the category of romantic comedies. For five points. Okay. Sammy, your film is Enchanted. 2007. Enchanted. Oh, enchanted. Enchanted. 87%, Sammy. Is it higher or lower? <sighs> lower. Sammy says lower. And Sammy. That is incorrect! It is wow. in. Correct, Sammy. I'm so sorry, man. It is higher. It is a 93% for Enchanted. Wow. And wow, do we have a surprise win here. Joseph Lansdell, congratulations, man. You are moving on in the tournament. Wow. This is absolutely insane, man. I cannot believe what is going on with this tournament right now. But hey, that's the game for you. But man, Sammy, let's talk to you first, dude. Oh, I feel like this situation has happened before, man. Oh, it just came down to that fourth round question. You had a chance to tie the game. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough today. But you got to give hats off to you, man. You fought and you did the best you could. We got to hear from you, Sammy. Yeah, I'm a little upset, but I'm sure I'm getting over it, but... Yeah, I always love having fun these rounds, always having fun with Round of Fresh, I always love doing this, and well, it was, was my best round, I still have fun, I still have a great time doing this, and congratulations to Joseph moving on, you did a great job, man, congrats. If you find me on my YouTube channel, same and more the views, where I not only do movie reviews, I also do a lot of TV, music, and game stuff, I also do a lot of top 10 as well, hoping to get 500 subs for my birthday in a couple of weeks, but yeah, my YouTube channel, same and more the views, check it out, I will appreciate the love and support. Yeah, man, Sammy, I, I gotta give it to you, man. Hats off to you. I know I'm, I'm a big fan of when you play this game, and this is definitely not the last time we'll see you, man. Keep up the great work, but unfortunately, you are eliminated for this tournament. But let's talk to the person who is moving on in the tournament. Joseph, congratulations, man. I didn't know what to expect going in, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't know what to expect. But you definitely proved yourself, man. Congrats, you're moving on in the tournament. Give us your final thoughts. This was brilliant for me. Um, I thought... 
um, I would do pretty decent, and I was even better, so um, I knew my stuff, and so did you, Sammy. And yes, I do feel sorry for your loss, but 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 yes, you did good as well. But thank you for having me. This was this was just amazing. I couldn't believe how I was able to do it. And yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. And of course, you can find me on Joseph Reviews on YouTube. Um, just look at that up. And then that's me. I love the sportsmanship. You both did a great, great competition here. But Joseph is the one moving on. Congratulations, sir. We will see you in November to see who you will be facing off with in round two. You have joined some very, very good company. And it's going to be very interesting to see who you'll be playing next, Joseph. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. You saw two great ones here. Let us know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. Who did you have winning? Did you expect the outcome to be this way? We want to hear all your thoughts down below thank you guys as always for watching rotten or fresh if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up if you're new around here be sure to subscribe for more great content not just this this is ryan's channel he's got a lot of great stuff over there go subscribe to these two they are definitely hard workers and definitely deserve your support all of ryan's social media links are in the description box down below click that notification bell on your way out and we'll see you guys next week for two more episodes bye